Hello and welcome to Progressive Tutorials. In today's video, I'll show you how to build a contact us page using Contact Form 7, and I'll also show you how to add uh, two columns in one row of a contact form. So, uh, first of all, we will install a plugin. Uh, for that, we will go to Plugins, click on Add New. In the search bar, type Contact Form 7, press Enter. Install Contact Form 7, click on Install now. Activate the plugin. After activating the plugin, you can see that there is a new menu in your uh, right, left side bar, which is Contact. Uh, click on Contact Forms. Uh, there is always a default form when you install this plugin uh, called Contact Form 1. And you can modify this plugin, this, this uh, Contact Form by using clicking uh, edit button here okay this is the short code for uh, this contact form which is, which id is 573 and the title is contact form 1 uh, we have um, some basic fields which is text name email email text subject and the text area your message and uh, finally our submit button uh, which can be changed the title can be changed to send okay these are the short codes for uh, these basic fields you can add uh, url telephone number date text area drop down check boxes radio buttons almost all fields of uh, all default fields from the contact form so uh, basically let me show you how you can add this form to your contact form 7 uh, sorry contact us page click on pages click on add new first I copied this short code let me open it in a new tab so we have this uh, edit page already open okay here type the page title my page will be contact us click on publish now paste that short code here which we copied from here okay click on update now let's check how uh, the contact form is looking right now okay we have name email address subject message uh, or text and finally submit so let's come uh, we changed the submit title to send so click on save to make these changes save now refresh the contact us page and the button is send now okay now I'll show you how you can add uh, first name and last name in same row uh, this 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 column and uh, this half is another column this last name okay now come to the contact us page uh, sorry contact form and here we will first uh, make a wrapper called div class will be form now scroll down and close the wrapper after the form okay uh, now we will add a row div class is equal to row or form row and close it after the name now we will build two columns within this one row div class form column and close this div here now we will make another column just copy all this and paste it here this will be your first name and this one will be last name okay change the names as well f first name and last name okay now save the form and let's see 
we will still have uh, all these fields within different rows first name last name email and subject so what we we will do now uh, we will make these two fields within one row okay let's add some css click on customize when you open the customizer it will look something like this within the same page because we clicked on uh, customize on the contact us page that is why it's opening the contact us okay now we will make these two in one row so click on additional css here uh, type in the title the class of this row first of all let's copy the class of row which was form row copy and type dot and then paste the row uh, the row class and make it width or max width to 100% then uh, type form call which is the column max width 50% okay let's reduce more let's make it 48% okay 48% is good now uh, let's move the column to the um, left float left and it's here now okay now for for row uh, we will type clear both and for all these other rows let's add a class first let's publish it add a class to uh, the other rows form row to the email to the subject and to the message as well finally close it click on save let's open customizer and refresh the page scroll down to the additional css and uh, we will add some margins to the uh, right now column add margin 2% uh, okay let's reduce it to 47 uh, sorry 2% not 2% let's add 10 px or 5 px okay 5 px is good now click on publish now let's open the contact us page on the front end and you can see there are two columns now uh, we can add more than two columns this is uh, completely responsive if you want to um, be more responsive then you can add media queries and you can remove this 50% or 47% uh, from this this column uh, on mobile phones but on tablets we will keep these two columns okay now let's add this uh, contact us page to our menu come to the dashboard click on appearance click on menus here you can see our newly added page is already there but if not then you can click on view all and scroll down to contact us page click on add to menu once it's added click on save menu and refresh your website and here uh, the contact us page is now there click on contact us page and it will redirect you to the contact page so uh, this was all for today's video i hope you learned something uh, please uh, please like this video if uh, you learn something and this subscribe to our channel so you won't miss our future updates thank you